Good morning. Just out for a little walk here. And, uh, on the path on the north edge of the farm. So, been very windy and rather bitingly cold. The wind seems to have just settled. And, uh, I come visit this tree. I imagine the sound won't be so great, but the light is just about right here. You might be able to see the trunk quite clearly by that contrast with the shadows thrown by the angle of the sun just now. Showing this uh, line of uh, bark. And, uh, I'm not sure how that came off, weathered off, or chewed off. Side, it's a pretty good line, pretty evident, I think. So, uh, that would be a good metaphor to recognize that you know there's something that we're always defending, protecting, and uh, we might imagine that uh, you know if that defense falls away, stripped away breaks off, you know, fails in some way, or becomes less than uh, full protection, that you're out of protection. And that may be true for some things that we defend. But I rather think that, you know, if there's something that we, that we most defend, you know, that, that is the uh, sort of our deepest fear, our deepest worry, our deepest concern, the root of our deepest anxieties, that that's going to end up having another layer beneath, like this tree. So I think for everybody there's uh, something that they most fear and therefore most defend against. That, that, that defense doesn't have to be active or always active. It can be that you set up your life in such a way that you're largely feeling safe from it. You know, if you choose to live in North Dakota because you're afraid of the ocean flooding, you may not feel actively involved in your defense every day. You know, it's just another day in North Dakota. It may feel more passive, and it may feel more active, you know. So, what I'm going to ask you to do, bearing in mind that I can't hear you if you happen to be watching live, uh, if you are alone, bring into the external world, speak out, verbalize, exhort, express, exhale, let free the naming of that which you fear the most, say it out loud, say out loud in a word or two, a phrase, that thing that you most fear the deepest fear. Yeah. 
And in doing that, you may notice that you know, you had to take some defense down. Maybe you had to look around, make sure nobody could, in fact, hear you uh, if you were to say it. Maybe you talked yourself into saying, I'll just think it. Steve doesn't hear me. I'll, I'll just think it. Or, you know, boy, I don't like this meditation. <laughs> uh, but I think there's some value in speaking it out. <clears throat> bringing into manifest expression because to do that we need to slacken, soften our layer of defense now, the purpose of that for this meditation is uh, because we can reveal some other hidden secondary A hidden secondary defense that's there as well. So just as with the tree, which has a layer of bark peeling off, we find another layer beneath. You know, what seems like an ordinary layer of bark to me, not that I know what type of tree this is. But at least as a metaphor, she's showing me that there can be more than one layer of defense. And at least in the case of the things that we're most afraid of, the, the, the one thing, the, the, the deepest fear, the always concern, uh, I think there's likely to be a second layer that we're not even familiar with. We didn't know. You know, we didn't know there's another layer under this tree until the first began to fall away. I say we, meaning the non-arborists. <laughs> Some other arborists was like, oh, yeah, that's the uh, American thorn whistle. That's what they do. Uh, but I do not know. I'm just looking at my feet and I see a heart. Sticks. I don't know if I'm aiming it though. If that's uh, my finger in the center of the heart. I'm looking. Oh, there we go. So there's a. Just look down, there's a heart at the base of the tree. So. Let's try it again. Speak the fear out loud. <clears throat> Let's see if you can notice the defense that falls away. Probably also understood by you in a word or a phrase. The fear that was defended in such a way. And then our work can begin with the next layer of defense, the defense that we're less aware of. Uh, we perhaps don't remember, but we most certainly installed and perhaps continued to uh, fortify. And so that's where our work is, you know, on these layers of defense. is they become who we seem to be, but they are not who we are. And so, you can't exactly lead you through a meditation not knowing who's here and what those issues are. But I think the tree is a fine metaphor for most meditations. And I imagine that our answer and answer, a helpfulness will be there. But for me, the start would just be to notice, to bring into this world that fear and thereby notice the defense. And in noticing it, come to recognize the deeper defenses where there may also be some work. And even if that worth is just to recognize that defense is part of 
your expression of self so that you more fully embrace who you are. So, I think that's all we're going to do now. Speak it out loud. That's how this works. Thank you.